Hi folks, this is Shafiq. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to focus on homomorphic encryption in Python per cloud. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Suppose that you need to store some sensitive data such as salary information to the database in cloud. Normally what can we do? Suppose that my salary is 10k. I can send my salary to the cloud environment with a k. In that way I am able to encrypt this salary information with a symmetric k encryption algorithm. But in this design, my K can be stolen because I am sending this to cloud environment as plain. Alternatively, what can be done? I can encrypt my salary information on prem site. In that way, I'm not sending my private K to the cloud environment and I'm just sending the encrypted salary. This is very secure. But what if I need to update this salary information on the cloud site? I should retrieve it from cloud environment first and it's going to be encrypted salary. Secondly, I need to decrypt it. Once it's decrypted, I will have the plain value. Thereafter, I'm going to update that plain value and encrypt it again. And finally, once it's encrypted, I'm going to send it back to cloud environment. But in that case, cloud is pretending like a dummy client. I'm using the old computation power on prem side and I'm not using any computation power almost from cloud side. Here, the question is that can the update operation be done in the cloud environment while cloud doesn't have my private key? The answer is yes and this is possible with homomorphic encryption. I'm going to work with two different Jupyter notebooks. That's why I split the screen to the half. On the left hand side, I'm going to perform the calculations in on-prem side and in the right hand side, I'm going to perform the calculations in the cloud side. In both on-prem and cloud sites, I need to import the homomorphic encryption library. Let's import it as from lightv, then import lightv. These are going to be imported in both on-prem and cloud sites. Thereafter, in the on-prem site, I'm going to build a crypto system. That's why I'm going to initialize lightv class and set the algorithm name. In this experiment, I'm going to use Paler algorithm because Paler algorithm is homomorphic with respect to the addition, as you can find from Lightfee's repository. This is going to be my crypto system and actually this is going to generate private and public k pair randomly. Besides, optionally, you can set k size and let's work with 1024 bit. As you can see, crypto system is created. This means private and public key pair is generated. We can find this as crypto systems, get crypto system itself and get its case. As you can see, this has private key and public key. And if I run this block again, this is going to generate different private and public key pair. Now I'm going to export just public key because this is going to be used in the cloud site. That's why I'm going to use crypto systems export case method. And this method expects target file as string. Target file is going to be public.txt. Besides, this method has public argument and its default value is false. And if you are not setting anything to public argument, then this is going to export the private key also, but I don't want to export it. Public is going to be true. Let's check the exported public.txt file in the red space. As you can see by wrap this, this has just public key and it doesn't include the private key. So in cloud site, I'm going to build a crypto system, but I'm not going to set the case size because I'm going to use the exported public key file. And as you can see, it has a K file argument. K file is going to be public.txt in the same folder. I can confirm that crypto systems case just has public key and this must be equal to the public key of the on-prem site. Public case G value is same as you can see. On-prem site I'm going to encrypt a couple of messages and first message is going to be let's say 10k and this is going to be 
my base totally. And if I want to encrypt this, I'm going to use crypto systems encrypt method and send message. This is going to be my first ciphertext. Let's see the ciphertext. Secondly, I'm going to encrypt another message and let's encrypt 2K. And this is going to be the bonus I'm going to get this year. Second ciphertext is going to be crypto systems encrypt method and set second plain message. And let's see second ciphertext. Once this message pair is encrypted on prem site, we'll send the encrypted message pair to the cloud site. In cloud site, I'm going to get the first ciphertext. Therefore, I'm going to use crypto systems create ciphertext object and set this value. Similarly, I'm going to create second ciphertext object as crypto systems create ciphertext object and copy this ciphertext value. Even though cloud site has ciphertexts, it cannot decrypt them because the cloud site doesn't have the private key. Let's see if we are trying to decrypt at as crypto system dot decrypt and send first ciphertext. I'm going to get an exception and it says you must have private key to perform decryption. Similarly, if I try to decrypt the second message, I will not be able to do it in the cloud side. But in on-prem side, if I try to perform this, I'm going to get the plain text. Similarly, if I try to decrypt the second cipher text, I will be able to do it. As I mentioned, Paler algorithm we used to build this crypto system is homomorphic with respect to the addition. This means in cloud side, I will be able to make addition on ciphertexts and let's set this to ciphertext tree and let's see what is it this is ciphertext and again even though cloud site can find this third ciphertext it cannot decrypt it if i try to do ciphertexts decrypt and pass this new ciphertext i will get this exception now cloud will send this third ciphertext on prem site and in on-prem site, I'm going to generate the third ciphertext as crypto system dot create ciphertext object and set this to its value. Again, in on-prem site, I have private key, so I will be able to decrypt this. And this is 12k, and this must be equal to play message one plus play message two because Paler is homomorphic with respect to the addition. On the other hand, Paler is not homomorphic with respect to the multiplication. So if I try to perform ciphertext 1 times ciphertext 2, I'm going to get an exception. And it says Paler is not homomorphic with respect to the multiplication. Or Paler is not homomorphic with respect to the XOR. So if I try to perform ciphertext 1, XOR ciphertext 2. I'm going to get an exception and it says Paler is not homomorphic with respect to the exclusive or, or XOR. Paler is also supporting multiplication with a plain constant or scalar multiplication. Let's see this. If I calculate first ciphertext as first ciphertext times 1.05, this means increase its value 5%. Now see the third ciphertext. I'm going to send this to on-prem site. Ciphertext 4 is equal to crypto systems create ciphertext object and send this. Thereafter, in on-prem site, I'm going to decrypt this. This is 10k500. This must be equal to first message times 1.05 because payload is supporting scalar multiplication. Finally, payload algorithm is supporting regeneration of ciphertext. This is an important feature because we may have many ciphertexts and once I decrypt them, I will have same plain text. Let's see. I'm going to create a C4 prime and regenerate the ciphertext for. Now let's see C4 prime. As you can see, it's different than the C4. And in on-prem site, I'm going to create this ciphertext dot create ciphertext object and set this C4 primes value. Thereafter, I'm going to decrypt this C4 prime. You can see I'm going to get the same value with decryption of C4. 
So this shows the regeneration of ciphertext feature of Paleo algorithm. So we done all encryptions in the on-prem side and transfer the encrypted values to cloud side and make calculations such as addition or multiplication on the cloud side. Now the question, what if I encrypt something in the cloud side? Because as you may remember, encryption doesn't need a private key. Let's say C5 is equal to M5 ciphertext.encrypt at M5 value and M5 is going to be 3K. As you can see, this can be done in the cloud side. So what if someone encrypt the value on the cloud side directly and update the original value because once he has the ciphertext 5, add this to ciphertext 1. This can be fraud operation, but we can detect this operation with digital signatures. So in this talk, we implemented homomorphic encryption for cloud environments with Python programming language. And we just use this light fee library for Python. We also show homomorphic addition feature of Paler algorithm also adds scalar multiplication and ciphertext regeneration features. But in your experiments, you can alternatively adopt other additively or multiplicatively homomorphic encryption algorithms in this list. You just need to set the algorithm name with this text. If you do like this video, please like it and do not forget to subscribe subscribe to the channel. Also, if you make comments to this video, it will help me to reach more people. I'd be appreciate in that case. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.